Good evening, everybody. We begin with a local breaking news alert. The Reds name a new manager. And he is a familiar face to Reds fans. Brad Johansson is here with what we've just learned. Brad? Well, the leading candidate is now going to become the new manager of the Cincinnati Reds. Brian Pice, the pitching coach that came over in 2010, is going to replace Dusty Baker as the Reds' new manager. This was really one of the only two guys that was on that definite list for Walt Jockety. The other was Jim Riggleman. Uh, Brian Price was a leader because of what he's done in this organization. In his four years as pitching coach, he has taken this pitching team to 12th, to 7th, to 4th, and to 3rd in the National League. And what he's done has been remarkable because the players that he's used have continued to improve. He has never been a manager in the major leagues. He spent 10 years before coming to the Reds as a pitching coach, six of them with Seattle, and then another four years with the Arizona Diamondbacks. And he is a fiercely loyal man because in 2009, when Bob Melvin was let go as manager of the Diamondbacks, he resigned. That allowed him to become free, and that's when the Reds snatched him up. They love what he is doing. Obviously, there are people who believe that they need a fiery guy as the new manager. Brian Price is not that fiery guy, at least not on the outside. But players believe that he will be a very good manager. Bronson Arroyo is one who told me he thought he'd be excellent. And obviously, during this time, they're going to have to find some new things and figure out a way to win beyond that first round of the playoffs. They expect to make an announcement tomorrow. The announcement is expected to be official. We don't have a time on when that is going to be, but all of my sources say that this will be done by tomorrow afternoon in place. And then as Walt Jockety told me before this announcement was going to be made, then player moves will follow yeah. after that. Once we have a Makes situation, sense. we're going to do some different things with this club. So Brian Price is going to be the new guy. Brad, the um, pitching coach, to manager is not a normal pathway though, is it? It is not a normal pathway, but it has now been shown to be successful. One of the teams now in the World Series right now with John Farrell, uh, a pitching coach, and, and not a guy with any experience is leading them to the World Series. Um, you also have uh, Bud Black over in San Diego, who's a pitching coach as well, who has done it there. Uh, you'll have catchers like Mike Matheny with the St. Mm -hmm. Louis Cardinals. It, this is an organization and now probably a thought process with a lot of teams. You don't have to go with one of those old tread names. Yeah. Let's find a guy that we like, a guy that we know um, something about and that the players understand. And usually the pitcher-catcher relationship understands the game better than anyone. And I yeah. think this is a guy that's going to be successful. You know, and, and Dusty was always described as sort of a player's coach. The guys really, really loved him. And it sounds like that's what Brian's like, too. I get huh? the anticipation that you will have a guy that the players already love right. and believe in. But he will make them better and anticipates that I am going to do everything I can to change your way of thinking if I don't think it's the right way of thinking. I believe, and I could be out on a limb on this, that one of the things that he will do insistently is make Araldus Chapman a starting pitcher. Oh, interesting. And that would change yeah. something of what's going on with this. It's not like it's a brand new thought, but I think that's on his wavelength as well. Did he play in the major leagues? I can't remember. He, he never played as a major leaguer, but spent a lot of time in the minor leagues. Came yeah. out of Cal and, and spent some time with uh, the Mariners and with the Angels as well. Um, never made it to the big leagues, but he's a guy who knows the game very well. All right, we'll see you later in sports. Okay. Thanks, Brad.